As a television producer and host, you have to cover an incredibly diverse range of topics. And to tell the stories properly, you need to become reasonably knowledgeable about each one, sometimes a new story every day, uh, becoming what I call in the process an instant expert. Add to all of that research the fact that I have the kind of brain that interesting facts and tidbits tend to stick to, uh, and a certain propensity for being a bit of a know-it-all. We thought, why not put all of that to good use and answer the questions that have been bothering you, our viewers? So you ask, and I'll do the legwork to find out the answer. Or my name isn't the instant expert. First up, this question from Chris in Vernon. If Teflon is so slippery, how do they get it to stick to the frying pan? To find an answer, we've come here to UBC Okanagan, where Dr. Nealon, a chemistry professor, will answer the question using an egg, a Bunsen burner, and some slices of bread. Well, we're inside the chemistry lab. I've got this spiffy lab coat, and we've got Dr. Nealon with us. So we want to find out more about Teflon today. Absolutely. But before we start, you better put these safety glasses on. We want to be safe when you're in the lab. Well, I guess we're doing some experiments. Now, the question is, why does Teflon stick to metal? Does everybody see how that's not sticking? Look how lovely Teflon is doing its job there. Here's the real question. How did they get the Teflon to stick onto the metal since it's so slippery with food? I don't know, doctor. We're going to call this piece of white bread Teflon. We're going to call this rye bread the metal. Now, if Teflon is, Teflon is slippery, it goes onto rye bread, and as you can see, it just falls right off. To get the Teflon to stick in the early days onto the metal, they would abrade the metal. Now what this means is <clears throat> they would take a sandblaster and they would physically roughen up the surface like this. Now when you take the Teflon and you stick it onto this rough surface, the Teflon goes into all the little nooks and crannies and they bake it in and it starts to stick just a little bit better. Notice? Yeah, it's hanging in there all right. It still but, comes off. But you'll notice that it still slightly comes off. And this led to generations of cooks screaming at people when they would use knives oh, into the Teflon like this. Because in the early days, you could actually scrape the Teflon right off the frying pan if you used a metal knife or a metal fork. These days, what do people do to stick Teflon onto metal? What they do is they've discovered something called a primer. It's kind of like painting. When you're priming a wall, you put a primer on the wall and then you put your paint on. They do the same thing with the metal of frying pans. Now I'm going to illustrate that with a little bit of peanut butter. <laughs> the perfect primer. Now once that primer is on the metal, you can grab the Teflon, put a coat on, a layer, bake it on, the Teflon is now stuck to the metal. The Teflon is the white, the metal is the dark bread. And as you can see, the Teflon sticks to the metal. And that's how it's done. That's great. Thank you, Dr. Neeland. You're very welcome. Question answered. <laughs>